Hey, this is Presh Talwalker, and you're watching Mind Your Decisions. You have a chocolate bar consisting of a 4x6 grid of small squares. What is the minimum number of cuts to split the bar into its 24 small squares? Now, there are some restrictions on the kinds of cuts you can make. Each cut has to be along the horizontal and vertical lines in between the squares, and each cut also has to start and end at points along the boundary of a piece of chocolate. The cut cannot intersect itself, and every time you make a cut, the chocolate bar is split into separate pieces. You can only cut one piece at a time. Here's an example of the kind of cut you can make. This problem was asked to first-year students at a Greek university. The mathematician Peter Winkler described it as follows in his excellent book, Mathematical Puzzles, A Connoisseur's Collection. This ridiculously easy puzzle has been known to stump some very high-powered mathematicians for as much as a full day. I encourage you to ask this problem to see if you can stump anyone. But of course, you won't be stumping the many very high-powered mathematicians who watch Mind Your Decisions. Can you figure it out? Give this problem a try, and when you're ready, keep watching the video for a solution. The answer is you need to cut the bar 23 times. One way to see this is using logic. At the beginning, there is one piece and you have not broken the bar at all. Zero cuts. After any one cut, the bar will be split into two pieces. Every subsequent cut increases the number of pieces by one, as each time you split the bar, you are dividing some single piece into two pieces. You can keep cutting the bar until there are 24 squares. As the number of cuts is always one less than the number of pieces, the minimal number of cuts is 23. And it actually doesn't even matter which procedure you use to cut the bar. It will always be 23 cuts to end up with 24 squares. Now this is a perfectly valid logical proof, but some people will prefer a little bit more formal of an explanation. The answer is that you will need n minus 1 cuts for a bar with n squares. And you can prove this using strong induction. So for the base case, in a bar with 1 square, you need to make 0 cuts. And for a bar with 2 squares, you need to cut the bar 1 time. Now we will assume for all whole numbers k, where k is greater than or equal to 1, but less than n, that it takes k minus 1 cuts at minimum to divide the bar into squares for a bar consisting of k squares. Now assume we have a bar with n squares. After one cut, the bar will be divided into two pieces, one with r squares and another with n minus r squares. Since r and n minus r are less than n, by the induction hypothesis, we can split the first piece into squares using r minus 1 cuts, and we can split the second piece into squares using n minus r minus 1 cuts. Including the first cut, we have made a total of 1 plus r minus 1 plus n minus r minus 1, and this equals n minus 1 cuts, and this completes the proof by induction. Did you figure it out? Thanks for watching this video. These math videos, which can be watched for free on YouTube, inspire and build confidence for people around the world, and they already have over 100 million views. Let's share the beauty of mathematics. With your help, we can math the world a better place. Please subscribe for free to get the newest videos, watch and share all of Mind Your Decisions videos, and email me a puzzle or math topic, presh at mindyourdecisions.com. If you so choose, you can check out my books, which are listed in the video description, and you can support me on Patreon for exclusive rewards. Thanks for watching, and thanks for your support.